Hey, I made a GitHub scraper. So I had this idea of getting all the information off of GitHub for finding out like which languages I use the most, even though you could easily just look at GitHub and it tells you anyway. But I, I figured what if you wanted to add more detail or whatever. So I, I made this just in case anyone wanted to do that. Also, I don't know if you never worked with a GitHub or a web scraper. This is a good opportunity to learn, I guess. So right at the bat, um, the most important part is just beautiful soup. A uh, request is just sending the request to fetch all the HTML data so we can pass it to this. Uh, map plot, and we're going to be using that to uh, actually generate a little pie graph. And then CSV is for putting down any Excel files, which I made. Like, uh, this is what you're going to end up having at the end. Here, let me just zoom in. Um, yeah, it's not too interesting, but uh, I wanted to make something that did this. Just curious how it would work. Anyway, um, so moving down, we're just setting the CSV file name here. Um, so this is our main function. We are going to be generating this, a map of our portfolio. So it'll contain one, the language, and then the repositories that follow. Um, just because I was curious how everything would be broken down into. Uh, just because I noticed that I was spending more time on Python than the other languages. So I was curious. So I wanted to know, like, how much more? Anyway, so we're setting our URL. And then we're going to pass that URL to requests. And this is going to send us back the HTML from that page. So now that we have it, cool. We got it successfully. Then we go to beautiful soup. We're going to take it apart. So now that we have a readable file or readable object, we're going to go find all. So in this page, we're going to have a list, a list of all our repositories. If you can go to the URL or even your own GitHub, you should be able to see that. So next we go to, our, we're going to go through each one and each one is going to have like, uh, a tag reference whatever and then as well attached to that it's gonna well near it it's gonna have this little programming language so if you go to github you'll see like each repo has like the name and then underneath it in like little font it's gonna say like uh, javascript or whatever so this is to take that value the little language value and this is to get the name Cool. So from going on that, if it does have a language, then we're going to strip all the text or not the text. We're going to strip the values like extra space. That's what strip does. Um, so lang text, we're going to get the, the actual text from this property here. We're going to take away the empty space. Uh, if L is in our portfolio, so if we've already seen this, then we're going to append it onto the list of that value on that map. Uh, so we open up our map, we get that, use that as a key, and then we append the name of the A tags reference. And then if we don't, we just start a new list. Cool. So from this point on, we should now have a full portfolio. So we're going to pass this, uh, the portfolio keys is the labels, sizes, I don't remember what size is for. Oh, I think we have to, yeah. Yeah, we have to set like uh, the size of the CSV, I think, for label size. God, I should really make these as I should really make these videos as I'm making the code just because taking two weeks after you finish them is a very strange. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna tr 
try. So we're going to open the CSV file. We have W, so that means right. We're going to open our keys for our portfolio. That's our map. So then we have, sorry. Uh, then we have, we're going to write the actual key with portfolio. So that's our list of all the repos that we've written down. Else input output error. Uh, why did I have sizes? Oh, this is for the pie graph. Add up experience. God, <laughs> let me just uh, for pie graph. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we have sizes <laughs> and our labels now, and this will generate a pie graph, and you'll see it in a second. Just uh, um, so let's run this. Uh, let me try to share that screen now. Just quick intermission. Uh, cool. And this is what you get, as well as the CSV file. Um, it's not that interesting, but you, you could add on things to it and make it better, more cool, whatever you want. Anyway, I'll leave this up. See you around.